The Germans, on the other hand, would marry a slut and call her Schatzi. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, the West will fall. Every empire has fallen. If you learn anything in history, it is exactly that. Every empire has an expiry date. Be it the Byzantines, be it the Romans, be it the Ottomans, you name it. Every empire falls every single time. Especially when they are at their peak. When they believe that they are at their peak. In reality, they are at peak degeneracy and at the peak of their fallenness. This is every single time the case, and this is when the empire is the most vulnerable. This is why the West will fall. I still see people, especially in the alt-right community, that try to save Europe. They will free Europe. They want to fix a broken system. They don't even understand why that system is broken in the first place. Originally, I'm from the Balkans, northern Macedonia, but I grew up in Germany. I still have that foreign perspective on Germany and it was shocking to me. My household, my father and my mother lived a traditional life. They were not very conservative, nor were they very, very religious. But nevertheless, still they had traditional values from the Balkan. In Germany, it looked very, very different. It was normal to be divorced. It was normal to cheat. It was normal to not be a virgin and enter marriage. All of those things were already normal when I was a kid. It was very, very shocking to me that Germans thought that way. Moreover, what I observed in Germany, which is one of the centers of Western Europe, of course, is that the males were absolutely demoralized and weakened. The women, on the other hand, used to wear the pants, we say. Sie haben die Hosen an you say in German. Essentially, the roles were inverted. The woman would dictate what the male can spend. It's no joke. I've seen it in Germany. Yeah, baby, I want to buy that car and that motorbike. No, we have to save that money. They would even give them less food to eat just to save up. The woman was controlling the money. Wow, man, it was mind blowing to me. And this is the root issue of the West. Be it Europe, be it America, it is weak men and perceived strong women. There is no such thing as a strong woman. It is an absolute myth. It is here to delude you. As always, as every single time, it is always the same. It is funny to be totally honest how they play this game feminism is not <laughs> females against males that's how they want to show it to you it is against the patriarchy no it is females feminazis versus the family you're destroying the nuclear family and with that you destroy the country and this is what has happened to the west when you have weak men, you create more weak men. It is very, very simple. They talk about the cycle when weak men create hard times and those hard times create tough men. Yeah, but it takes some time, guys. First, those weak men create even weaker men. It has to go downwards before it goes upwards again. I've seen it again in Germany strong mother, dominant mother, very weak, pathetic father, and then they create a son and traumatize the child. The child, the son, the male, cannot look up to his father, intuitively recognizes this guy is pathetic and weak, and therefore looks up to the mother. The mother is disciplinary and very strong. And therefore, this young boy will seek out the same, will look for the same type of woman. And then the cycle just repeats. 
that is the issue with the West. So now, why do I make this video? Honestly, I'm not making this video in some sort of wishy-washy thinking and some sort of hopefulness that we're gonna save the West now. No, the West will fall. I am Doomer Bobby today. It is done. It is finished, honestly. Now, everything needs to change. You see foreigners taking over Europe, and guys, don't get me wrong, of course the foreign policies, of course the policies of your countries have to do with that. Of course it is artificial. We know who is behind it all. Yes, it is all true. It is all true. Yes, the guys up there want to destabilize. They want to destroy your countries. Yes, they are creating a white genocide. Yes, they want to get rid of you. All true. But what are you going to do about it? It's done. It really is. Now there is no fighting it anymore. Now the stronger species will persist. I'm a man of faith. I believe in God, but I believe in the natural laws that are established by God as well. And therefore, survival of the fittest. Yes, this is it. Very pessimistic for a few. For me, it's actually just the way of things. I have accepted it fully. You will see now that the most dominant race will take over. And this is really how nature works in the end. If you look at the Arabs that took over Berlin, or you look at the Turks that took over Cologne, or you look at Africans that took over Paris, etc., etc., you will see that they are more dominant and the white Western male doesn't do anything about it. They don't do anything about it. I heard people complain, hey, somebody climbed up a church and ripped down the cross. Have you heard it? Have you seen it? Man, what did you do about it? Nothing. I even heard that the pastor in the church forgave that guy. <laughs> Hilarious. So the West won't do anything anyways. It's pathetic and weak. Yet again, you can point the finger and say, oh, they, they demoralized us. They weakened us. All true. But what are you going to do now? Nothing. You can't do anything about it anymore. Now it is done. And now we will see natural selection at its best, so to speak. The more dominant species race will take over and will dominate Europe, will dominate the world. We will see who will succeed ultimately, ecologically, economically. It could be China, then locally, it could be Muslims. We will see how it goes. The stronger ideology, the stronger people will win. If you look at Islam, for example, I used to be so against Islam all the time. Oh, they're the enemy, they're the enemy. Until I realized, hmm, actually I have more in common with Muslims than with anybody else, to be totally honest. Because Muslims are the most conservative. I'm talking about the real practicing Muslims, not somebody that is Muslim by default. The real practicing ones. They have the strongest family values. Their religion is super conservative. They create a bunch of children and they eat a bunch of meat. Those people are my friends. It's very, very simple. People that eat wholesome, people that create a bunch of children young. Those are smart people. On that level, they are smart. As I said, I come from the Balkan. In northern Macedonia, we saw that 30 years ago, the Albanian population in certain towns in Macedonia was roughly 10%. Now the population is 90%. Those Albanians established that by strong, strong family structures in which the male is still the male and the female is the female. Yes, they're doing it right. Even the covering plays a huge role because it sets boundaries. Of course, women nowadays will see that as some sort of oppression, but the reality is that you have a clear distinction between male and female and the woman is put into the position of actually being a woman. As I said in previous videos, the most gratifying role, it's not a role, it's a destiny for the woman is of course to be a mother. A mother that went into the marriage as a virgin. It is the only way for the male to fully respect that woman. Of course, you will always have idiots. Of course, you will always have abusive people. But in general, it beats getting into the marriage as a slut. This is the case. 
every male has that jealousy embedded in them and every male wants to be the first because there is a spiritual bond between male and female when they have sex for the first time the male that had sex with you that took your virginity will own you for the rest of his life that's it let that sink in it's true, the man that took your virginity will own you for the rest of his life. Every male that comes after that knows that. Every male that decides then to marry you will know that too, in his heart. It is written in our hearts by God, basically. You cannot deny that. You can try to act as if you don't know, but you do know. No normal person, no normal man, wants to hear any sex stories from his woman. It will drive him crazy. It will make him mental. Why is that so? Because biologically, he wants to own the woman. Naturally, that is his birthright and healthy women want to fulfill that role and make their men happy. But nowadays women hate men and they want to see the men miserable and this is why they don't want to make him happy. <laughs> this is why they want to see him in suffering and this is why they don't care if they slept with a hundred guys and enter like that into so-called marriage, if you want to call it that at all. Anyways, the West will fall because of exactly that. Weakened men, weakened family structures beyond repair. The funniest thing about this is, when I'm talking about those things, I know that some men can't even really resonate or don't want to resonate with this. They don't want to understand what I'm saying. And this is why it is beyond repair. Again, the German example. The Turks, the Arabs, they would marry virgins. The Germans, on the other hand, would marry a slut and call her Schatzi after that. This is the main difference between those two groups and this is the main difference in the success of those groups. It really is. You won't believe that, but it truly is. Because if you look at the German marriages, then you will see that they have a 50% divorce rate. Why is that so? Hmm? Think about it, because those people do not respect each other. Moreover, the woman will constantly compare her man to the other sex partners. I heard it before, believe me, ladies in their 30s still comparing. Oh, the sex was so great with that guy. Oh, but with this guy, oh, we had such great talks. Whatever, they're gonna constantly compare. Society told them that this will make them happy. The reality is more choice, more confusion. You have weak men, you have used up women. That creates destructive families and that will destroy the West. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.